guests. I'm back again with another very important, informative, and interesting topic, and that is model verbs. There are many model verbs, but today I'm focusing upon the two most important model verbs need to have to. Model verbs are basically auxiliary verb that expresses necessity or possibility. When we want to show the necessity or possibility, we make use of model verbs. There are a variety of model verbs basically, but right now I'm focusing upon need to and have to. So the question is why I decided to discuss these two model verbs. Most of the time, students ask me this question, what is the difference between need to and have to? Are they same or different? And if there is any def difference, then what is the difference? In which situation should we go for need to? And where should we use have to? So today's lecture is going to answer all these con confusion. And I'm sure that after listening to this lecture, you will have clear understanding about the difference of need to and have to okay have to we use have to when we want to talk about obligations requirement something that is required something that is compulsory right and need to when we use need to when we want to talk about things that are necessary to do in order to achieve a certain goal. It means that fine, it is necessary to do that thing because there is certain goal in our mind, but there is no uh, compul uh, compulsion, right? In case of have to, uh, there is always some urgency, but in case of need to, we don't face such urgency. We karna to hai, lekin hui aisi urgency nahi hoti. We, we make use of have to to show urgency and we are more focusing upon the problem. We just think about uh, the problem which we can face if we don't do that task, right? But in case of need to, we are more focused on the benefit of doing the act than the pain. It means that we are thinking about the advantages, about the player, about the benefit which we can get by doing a certain action. Right. So let's see some of the example. And I'm sure that those examples will clear your confusion related to have to and need to. OK, first of all, we'll see uh, some of the examples of have to. The first example, I have to get to my meeting on time. I have to get otherwise I can face the consequences. My boss can fire me. My boss can give me an explanation letter. My boss can uh, put me into any awkward situation. So it means that I'm thinking about the problem which I can face if I am not on time in the meeting. Second example of have to, I have to go to the class now. Again, I have to go to the class. If I don't go to the class now, I can miss the class. Um, I can face the issue of attendance. Um, I can be scolded by my teacher. I can miss the lecture. So I'm thinking about all the problems which are associated with missing any class, right? Next example, you have to pay your taxes now. Again, I am more focused upon the problem. If I don't pay the taxes, I can face law or any other problem. So the, uh, the consequences are in my mind next example i have to go right now it means right now i have to move i have to go otherwise i can face any of the problem right so in all these examples you have seen that we made use of have to to show the consequences of not doing that action right so let's move towards the example of need to and let's see how the usage of need to is different from have to. Let's move towards the first example. I need to get my hair cut. I need to get my hair cut so that I might look attractive. I might look more beautiful. I mean, any of the benefit associated with hair cutting, right? We are focusing upon the advantage of hair cutting, right? Second example. She really needs to do well in her exams next week. Again, uh, why she needs, needs to do well in exam? 
the benefits, the advantages are moving in our mind. If she uh, does well in the exam, she can get good grades. As a result, she can get admission in some good university or all the other advantages which are associated with doing well in exams. We are thinking about the player, the benefit. Fine. Let's move towards the next example. I need to call my mom on her birthday. So again, in this example, I'm not thinking about the negative consequences. Koi problem, koi pain, mere mind mein nahi hai. I'm thinking about the player which I can get if I call my mom or the player or the comfort which my mom can get if I call her. So I, ho I hope you got the understanding, you got the difference that when should we use have to and when should we go for need to. Fine. Basically, uh, need to and have to are two sides of the same coin. Fine. In one, we are considering the benefit, while in the other, we are considering the problem that, uh, that we can get by not doing it. However, in both the cases, there is something which we want. We want to do something either for the sake of benefit or problem. In case of benefit, we'll make use of need to. And in case of problem, we will make use of have to, right? Fine. There are two more situations in which we can use have to. For example, uh, we also use have to to show emphasis when we want to emphasize something, when we want to stress upon certain expression, then we use have to. Uh, we show this emphasis by putting stress on a word or a syllable to show that it is important and value. For example, after your exams, you have to call me as I am too curious to know about your result. So. Hum jahan pe emphasize kis baat pe kar rahe ke you have to call me. To hum ne jab kisi baat pe emphasize karna hota hai, ek baat pe zor dena hota hai, then also we make use of have to, right? Second situation, we use have to uh, when we really desire something, when we really need something, fine? For example, uh, I have to have pizza on my birthday fine so it is uh, here have to is showing the deep desire and a deep uh, wish which uh, some uh, i want on my birthday fine i hope you must have gotten clear understanding of uh, uh, the difference between uh, have to and need to and next time when you are making use of these model words i'm sure you will have no confusion about their usage thank you so much for listening see you in some other lecture with some other good topic until then bye